Hi everyone. Today we'll solve CPC exam practice questions related to digestive system. This will be part 2. Let's start with the first question. A patient had a laparoscopic cholecystectomy with cholangiography. How would you report this procedure? Let us check the options. Check option A 47605. 47605 is for cholecystectomy with cholangiography. In the scenario, they have mentioned laparoscopic cholecystectomy with cholangiography. But the code 47605 comes under excision cholecystectomy with cholangiography. But we have to code for laparoscopic cholecystectomy with cholangiography. So option A will be wrong. In option B also they have mentioned 47605 that will also be wrong coming to option C 47563 check the code 47563 is for laparoscopy surgical cholecystectomy with cholangiography okay in the scenario there is laparoscopic cholecystectomy with cholangiography so it is exactly matching with the code 47563 so option C is the right answer Option D 47579 is for unlisted laparoscopy procedure biliary tract but we have a code for laparoscopic cholecystectomy with cholangiography 47563 so we cannot code for unlisted procedure so eliminate option D option C is the right answer next question rigid proctosigmoidoscopy with removal of two polyps by snare technique how would you report this check option A Four five three two zero, proctosigmoidoscopy, rigid, with ablation of tumor polyps or other lesions not amenable to removal by thought biopsy forceps. Check option B four five three one five that is for proctosigmoidoscopy rigid with removal of multiple tumors or polyps or other lesions by thought biopsy forceps, bipolar cautery or snare technique. And four five three zero nine is for proctosigmoidoscopy rigid with removal of single tumor or other lesion by snare technique. And the code four five three eight eight is for colonoscopy with ablation of tumor polyps or other lesions and guide wire passage when performed. Now, which among these is the right code? If you choose four five three one five, then you are absolutely right because the code four five three one five is for proctosigmoidoscopy rigid with removal of multiple tumors or polyps and they have mentioned by hot biopsy forceps bipolar cautery or snare technique in the scenario there is rigid proctosigmoidoscopy removal of two polyps right so it will be multiple polyps by snare technique which is mentioned in the code 45315 so option b is the right answer We will eliminate option A four five three two zero because that is for with ablation of tumor, so we cannot code four five three two zero. Coming to option C four five three zero nine, that is for proctosigmoidoscopy rigid with removal of single tumor, but in the scenario there are two polyps, so we have to code for multiple polyps, not single. So eliminate option C four five three zero nine. Coming to option D four five three eight eight. Four five three eight eight is for colonoscopy with ablation of tumor polyps, but in the scenario there is proctosigmoidoscopy, right? So eliminate option D. Option B four five three one five is the right answer. Next question: A patient underwent an enterectomy in the small intestine with four resections and anastomosis. What code is used to report this procedure? So check option A four four one three zero. Four four one three zero is for enterostomy, anastomosis of intestine with or without cutaneous enterostomy. Four four one two zero in option B is for enterectomy, resection of small intestine, single resection and anastomosis. And check option C four four one 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 that is for excision of one or more lesions of small or large intestine not requiring anastomosis multiple enterotomies and in option D they have given four four one two zero we already checked the code and four four one two one that is for each additional resection and anastomosis multiplied three times 
So, which among these is the right code? The right code will be 44120 and 44121 multiplied three times. Why? Because in the scenario they have mentioned enterectomy in the small intestine with four resections and anastomosis. So the code 44120 is for enterectomy, resection of small intestine, single resection and anastomosis. That is for single. Okay. Then we have to use the add-on code 44121 for each additional resection and anastomosis. So since there are four resections and anastomosis, we are using add-on code multiplied three times for the remaining three resections. So the right answer will be option D. We'll eliminate option A 44130 because that is for enterostomy. But in the question, they have mentioned enterectomy. So eliminate option A. And in option B, they have multiplied 44120 four times. We are not supposed to multiply 44120. So eliminate option B. Coming to option C, 44111, that is for excision of one or more lesions of small or large intestine not requiring anastomosis. So we cannot use that code. Eliminate option C. Option D is the right answer. Next question. If you want to study guidelines related to digestive system and practice some more questions, then check the playlist CPC exam digestive system series. The link will also be mentioned in the description. Read the question. A patient has an adjustable gastric restrictive device component removed and replaced via laparoscopic procedure. How should you code this procedure? Check option A 43773. 43773 is for laparoscopy, surgical, removal and replacement of adjustable gastric restrictive device component only. In the scenario, it is a laparoscopic procedure and there is adjustable gastric restrictive device component removed and replaced. So, 43773 denotes laparoscopy, removal and replacement of adjustable gastric restrictive device component only. So, it is exactly matching with the question. So, option A is the right answer. We will check why other options are wrong. Check option B, 43772. 43772 is for removal of adjustable gastric restrictive device component only. And they have also mentioned 43773. That is for removal and replacement of adjustable gastric restrictive device component only. But 43772 is only for removal of adjustable gastric restrictive device component only. But in the scenario, there is removal and replacement. And we already got a code for that. That is 43773. So, we should not code 43772 removal and 43773 for removal and replacement again. So, option B will be wrong. Eliminate option B. Option C, 43888 is wrong because that is for gastric restrictive procedure, removal and replacement of subcutaneous port component only. But in the scenario, they have mentioned removal and replacement via laparoscopic procedure and we got a code for laparoscopic procedure. Right. So, we cannot code 43888, eliminate that. And coming to option D, 43845, that is for gastric restrictive procedure with partial gastrectomy. So, that is not mentioned in the scenario, eliminate option D. Option A is the right answer. Let us move on to the next question. Before solving this question, don't forget to show your support to my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to Codemen Mastery. Read the question. A patient underwent a posterior bilateral vestibuloplasty following an accident which allows her to wear complete dentures. How would you report this procedure? Check option A 40845. 40845 is for vestibuloplasty complex including rich extension muscle repositioning and in option b 40843 is for vestibuloplasty posterior bilateral and 40844 is for vestibuloplasty entire arch and 40843 is for vestibuloplasty posterior bilateral now which among these is the right code the right code is 40843 which is present in option D. 
Why? Because in the scenario they have mentioned posterior bilateral vestibuloplasty. Right. So, 40843 is exactly for vestibuloplasty posterior bilateral. We'll eliminate option A. 40845 because that is for vestibuloplasty complex. So, it is not mentioned in the scenario. So, eliminate option A. Coming to option B, 40843 vestibuloplasty posterior bilateral. That is correct. But they have appended modifier 50. Modifier 50 is for bilateral procedure. In the scenario also they have mentioned bilateral. But the code 40843 already mentions bilateral. Right, so we should not append modifier 50 to show that it is bilateral procedure. So, eliminate option B. And option C, 40844 is for vestibuloplasty entire arch. So, that is also not matching with the question. So, eliminate option C. Option D is the right answer. So, that's it for today. In the next video, we will solve some more questions related to surgery digestive system. So, stay tuned.